Okay, so I got another great box yesterday in the mail and as a comparison I just want to show you what was in the back to school crave box. We got pencils, we got pens, we got some um, cream, vitamins, um, and really nice stuff that uh, some of which I hadn't tried like the um, nasal spray and other stuff that I know I could use. So that was the back to school box. Yesterday, I got what was called the Holiday Spruce Box, Spruce Up Box, and what was in it was really, really disappointing. Um, so this is the listing they give you, and the first thing that's listed is dishwashing booster. I don't have a, I, I do have a dishwasher, I don't use it, so there's very limited things that I can actually do with it. Um, they didn't indicate that a dishwasher was a requirement or that they were sending something for a dishwasher. So really, um, that was kind of a surprise to me. But anyway, I, I can re-gift it and someone else can be happy with it. But what they also did was include some dollar of coupons, which still requires you to buy a product, pay for it, and then use the dollar of coupon to get a better price for it. And neither of these products I've used, so I'm usually hesitant to buy dollar of um, goods if I haven't tried them, because for example this one for which we gotten a dollar off coupon would still require me to pay I think three or four dollars. So that's still a significant amount for something that I'm not sure how well it works. Um, then they included samples. So this is a Stomp and Go stain lifting pad. So if you have a carpet and you have a stain, you basically place it on the stain, step on it, and it's going to draw the stain out, which is nice, and I'm happy to try it, but it is a sample, so um, with another dollar of coupon. So that is okay. Um, Usually they send you full-size products, um, so this sample, I guess, is okay. It's a one-time pad to use. Um, but this one was really disappointing because I have gotten several of these over the last year because Tide is really trying to get people interested in them. And so to find yet one more of these in a box that usually is a sample box and would normally include full-size products was disappointing. Um, we then have the OxyClean, like I said, I have no use for this, but I can re-gift it and someone else can be happy with it, and this is actually a full-size product. So this is probably, I think, about 7 or $8, so it's not bad, but you can see here it has actually a Try Me Free coupon, um, but you need, of course, the receipt to actually get the discount on it. So. And then the last thing is, the only thing that I'm happy with is the New Zealand Springs uh, Fipri Set and Refresh. And they had those on special at CVS, and I actually picked up a bunch of those, um, either at half price or even less, um, with the coupons that I had gotten. So this is actually nice. And that was it. Um, so compare these things and let me put everything together, like I always do. Um, as the holiday spruce up box, again, to something like the back to school box, and you can see a difference. And normally that would be in the, the review, but I had actually emailed Cravebox and said that I was somewhat disappointed <laughs> with them including dollar of coupons for items that I was not familiar with and dollar of coupons are things that I can usually get in the Sunday paper or even other sources, a lot of internet sites and product sites on Facebook will actually have dollar of coupon if they try to introduce a new product. And then the Tide Pods and the Bissell, um were pretty much samples and not full size products. So I was disappointed with the contents and I do have to say that Cravebox was really nice and within a couple of minutes, literally, I got an email saying they would refund the price of the box because I was not happy with it. Um, I do have to say that so far I've been really happy with Crave Box, and this was the first box where I thought that this was really not up to the usual standard of Crave Box. 
So um, the customer service pretty much saved this whole experience for me. So I'm still happy with Gravebox. I have repeatedly now emailed them or put on their Facebook page that I hope they learn from this to really take time and compile boxes that are of the same standard as a back to school box, a book lovers box, or um, even the Thanksgiving box. I really like the Thanksgiving box actually. So I was happy with all the boxes up until this one. So customer service from Cravebox was excellent. Immediate reply, full refund is going to be issued. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm glad I think that Cravebox really n noticed that this was not up to their usual standard. So um, I'm hoping that the future Craveboxes will be up to their usual standard and I'm going to be as happy as I've always been with them. So I would still encourage people to sign up with Cravebox and I'm counting on that this was just a one-time pretty much marketing disaster for them. <laughs> um, and they did issue a refund so I'm really happy about that. And um, I, I think that goes to show that they take their customers seriously and that they value our input. And um, so I'm still encouraging people to um, give Cravebox a try. Sign up for the ones that you think are fitting to your interest. They have, I, I know, something for crafting coming up and for moms of little kids. And they have a teen box and a dog lovers, a dog lovers box coming up. So there are plenty of nice themed boxes coming up. And I encourage everyone to sign up and give them a try. If it's not something that you want to do because you don't like the mix of products they send, you know, that's fine. They can't make everyone happy. I kind of like it because it gives me a chance to try out new products. And the price, I think, it's um, of the boxes is usually a really good deal. So the risk of me getting a product that I don't use, I can live with because the usual value of the box is outweighed by what I have to pay. So um, again, not my usual review of a crave box, but um, like I said, customer service saved this experience for me. I'm still encouraging people to use crave box as one way of sampling new products and minimizing the risk to their wallet of buying a product at regular price in the grocery store, which they are not later on happy with. So as a sampler and product discovery tool, Cravebox, I think, still has significant value for me, at least. So, anyway, thanks.